Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to customize your iPhone using the brand new iOS 14. iOS 14 just came out two days ago and is everywhere on TikTok and here on YouTube. In this video, we'll go through how to customize widgets, how to customize app covers, how to use the app library, the hidden pages, front mirror effect, hidden images and the back tap feature. Now you may or may not have seen a video like this before but even if you have seen one, every video is definitely going to be a little bit more different because everyone is showing their own creativity. I have been personally enjoying this type of videos and decided to create one for my own channel showcasing my creativity using the new iOS 14 features. So without rambling anymore, let's just dive into the fun part. Now as I talk through everything, you will be seeing what I am doing on the phone on the screen. So first things first, let's get started with custom widgets. So this is currently the look of my phone. I decided to go with teal because I feel like it's very royal and classy looking and at the same time I'm a minimalist. So I mixed in minimalist look with the teal color and this is what I got. But I've also made another one if I swipe left, it is in gold. I have created half of it and I've decided to create the other half with you guys. So as you can see all the apps that I like I've kept and rest of them are an app library which I'll get into later but for now we're going to talk about custom widgets for this you'll need an app called widget smith you can download it on app store mine is already downloaded so here i'm going to go ahead and find app store write widget smith and because i have already downloaded it it is there open for me and this is the widget smith app this currently has three sizes of widgets one is small then medium and then large small ones are going to look like squares if you can see here on the top left which i have and the medium ones are more rectangular and here is what you can see on the top where i have my calendar and then the large one which i have not used because they take a lot of space and overall i did not find them very aesthetically pleasing so like i said i have two things going on one is teal one is gold and we're going to go ahead and customize the half of the gold one that is left so the layout that i want in this home screen is small widgets going zigzag and apps going zigzag in the opposite way so again i'm going to go ahead and write here widget smith and then i'm going to go to small widgets tap the small number six because that's the latest one default widget over here you can see that you can play with the customization you can have time you can have date you can have date and time you can have calendar you can customize and put photos or you can even add text. You can also use it for reminders and you also have weather but for that you'll have to pay. I have not paid because you know I don't want to. I think this is new because I did not see the health and activity bar before. So just for the sake of this video I'm going to go ahead and use a I think a text. So for that I'm going to go to photos. No sorry I'll go to text. Where is the text? Yes custom text. Then we're going to go with new york because that's the one that looks most professional and then for tint i'm going to go ahead with white and for background i'm going to keep it brown so that it goes with the gold theme and then you can also choose border colors if you're interested i am going to opt out of that i don't want any borders and i'm going to write a custom text here probably a quote so i'm going to just type a quote saying less is more a very minimalist quote return small so that's how it is that's how it comes i'm a bit annoyed with the fact that it is not in the middle for some reason these texts are not coming in the middle and i don't know why but that is how it is and we're just going to go ahead and save and then i'm going to go ahead here and then i'm going to press the screen so the apps start to you know shake and then i'm going to press add then I'm going to go to the bottom, go to widget smith and then say add widget and it will automatically add this one which we do not need. So we tap on that widget and then we go ahead and choose small 6 because that was the one that we had customized. And there it is. So we are going to go ahead because it's all changed up again, the entire screen, we are going to go ahead and move that to here where we wanted it. And now with the rest of the space that we have, we're going to go ahead and add apps. And because we're going with this gold theme, I'm going to go ahead and change the covers of these apps. 
and make it all look very gold and aesthetic so i'm only able to add five more apps here and for that first i'm going to go ahead and collect five gold looking covers on pinterest so i'm going to go here type pinterest then go to search and type gold aesthetic and then i'm just going to go here and tap one of these and then scroll so i can get more of those this one is a really pretty one i'm going to go ahead and download this so we need four more now this time one looks really cool as well this gate looks pretty cool as well i'm not being very fussy with the covers as long as it's aesthetically pleasing this looks pretty cool and this golden apple looks really cool as well and so does this tablet so let's see hopefully we have more than yes we have three four five six we have collected six gold aesthetic pleasing covers and now we're going to go ahead and customize the apps that i want to keep there in the you know home screen so for this to work we have to go to shortcuts so we go to shortcuts then we go to add on top right and then i add action then i choose scripting open app and the app that i use usually is a fitness pal so i'm going to add this and then on the bottom i'm going to tap on the fourth tab i don't know what it's called and then i'm going to tap add to home screen and then i'm going to type here fitness pal and then to change the image which is the coolest part is that i press that blue picture and then i choose choose photo and then just because you know an apple resonates with eating healthy i'm gonna go ahead and choose that as my app cover choose and look at that that looks really cool and then i'm gonna go ahead and press add next and then again i add here fitness pal i don't know if that's the correct way to write it but whatever and then i think i have it here now there it is that that looks really pretty the same way i'm gonna add four more apps i'm gonna go ahead again to shortcuts then i'm going to add press the add button then add action scripting open app choose and let me just go through the ones that i really really want okay so i'm going to add my gmail account so i'm gonna press gmail then go down add to home screen and instead of saying gmail i'm gonna name it emails and then choose photo maybe use this one choose add next emails done and then we have another one here and that is how we just keep going at it done and i think we are done here with the screen we can go ahead and customize it even more if you don't like something you can change it but i think it is perfect that's it for app customization the next thing we are going to talk about is app library app library just came out with ios 14 and it basically has all your apps in one place and it's already organized you cannot customize this feature it just basically has everything at one place the app library is the reason why i decided to keep it very minimalistic with my home screens so that way if i actually need something i i can either search it on top or i can go through these and search for the app that i want to use so for example if i go to recently added these are all my recently added apps or if i go to suggestions i think that means that those are the apps that i recently used or I can go to socials where I have all my socials or you know utilities and same way creativity I have all my editing apps and then entertainment travel shopping and food everything is already organized so you don't have to do anything now the fourth feature that I want to talk about is hidden pages it is a godsend feature it basically helps keep your home screen clean it gets rid of all the pages that you don't generally use or need for example to check those pages out I'm going to tap the screen here and then if you see those three dots on the bottom I'm going to tap that I have three more pages that are unchecked if I check them and I press done you can see those come here but because I don't need them anymore because I use the app library now I'm going to go ahead and press those dots again 
oh sorry the screen and then those dots and then I'm going to uncheck these pages. It hides them if you do not need them. It keeps the space clean. So now what I do is press done and done again and now I just have what I actually need in the front. Now feature number five that I really like is hidden images. You can hide the hidden images folder in your photos. You will go to settings then go to photos and then press check on hidden albums or uncheck actually on the hidden album. If I turn that tab on, I think I can see my hidden folders come here on the bottom. I have 28 hidden images and to completely hide that, all I have to do is uncheck this and then again we can go and check on the photos section and it's gone. Another feature that I really really like is the front mirror effect. It basically gives you that front mirror effect but on your back camera and for this you'll have to go to settings then scroll down to camera and then press check on mirror front camera and that will give you that front mirror effect. The last and one of the coolest features ever in this entire list, not that the others are not cool, is the back tap feature. To use this, you will have to go to settings again and then go to accessibility, then touch, and then turn on the back tap feature. And for this, I've used two. If I double tap the back of my phone twice, I get a screenshot, but if I triple tap it, I open YouTube. And to just demonstrate this for you guys, I'm going to where are you oh there it is a screenshot and the second one which is triple tap for which i've used the youtube shortcut i'm just going to triple tap the back of my camera and youtube will open there we go how cool is that you can obviously choose what you want for double tap i used screenshot but you can do reachability mute lock screen home so you can just mute if you just press double tap or you can have Siri, volume down, volume up, magnifier, zoom, whatever you like. You can also use the shortcuts that you have created in the shortcuts app. So that is all you guys. I hope you found some sort of value in this video. Even though a video like this has already been made a million times in the past two, three days, I hope you found something that you actually like. Thank you so much for watching. Love you, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.